Cape Hillsborough is located on the coast of Queensland, just north of the regional centre of Mackay in Australia. It's the site of an extinct volcano that occurred 33 million years ago. Down on the beaches and the coastline are geological features and various minerals and rocks. A really interesting place for the rock lover. In this shot is um, the extinct volcano, the, the uh, mountains in the distance there. And as I mentioned, strewn along the beaches and the coastline are various minerals, rhyolite, basalt, mica, and a string of others, chalcedony, many others I don't, I don't recognise. Everywhere you walk here, there's signs of the uh, volcanic activity that occurred here. Well, I've walked down from the resort and I'll head south along the coast and see if I can't show you some of the sites here and the geological features. Uh, visitors who have been here before to Cape Hills will recognise that rock as the iconic wave rock. So we'll uh, just head along the coast here. Well, I'd be guessing that the dominant dark rock that's everywhere would be a water-worn uh, basalt, a dark grey colour. There's also this, uh, a lot of this conglomerate everywhere, um, a mishmash of everything cemented together. As you can see in the distance there, the volcano site isn't a cone shape anymore, but just a remnant hills that are left over. This um, pinkish rock occurs a fair bit as well. Now while I'm a fair bit away from the headland there, the rock in the distance, uh, that's called monkey rock. And if you can't recognise it now, we'll get a closer look. It's called monkey rock because of the similarity between a, a monkey's head, the eyes, nose, jaw, etc. Now if I'm lucky I can get the camera down onto um, this basalt with gas pockets filled with agates on it in it. Well, this one here is probably a better example you can see the, the agates are pretty well defined. We know these are formed by a gas bubbles preserved in the cooling uh, basalt and then at a later stage the uh, agates form in the cavities.
a more correct term would be vesicular basalt with agates. Here's another example of vesicular basalt with no agates and uh, this other rock is just a novelty. It looks like someone's lost their shoe. The grey coloured sands on the beach here uh, sparkle with mica particles. The camera probably doesn't pick it up but to the naked eye it glistens. As I mentioned before, this pink rock occurs frequently along the beach. I've cut and polished this rock before and it's a really nice display. Another example of the um, agates forming in the basalt. Now, although I haven't done it myself, I'd imagine this conglomerate would be really nice cut and polished. I've seen it before by others. Right, I've had a bit of luck and I've managed to find a bit of the Chow Sydney I was talking about. It's hard to miss because the weathered exterior turns white. And inside you can see the clearer Chow Sydney colour. It doesn't occur in very large pieces here at Cape Hillsborough. A couple more interesting rocks I spotted. This type of conglomerate that frequently occurs here. And uh, this unknown specimen, I'm not sure what it is. more of the um, agate in basalt, uh, slightly larger pieces of agate this time, weather worn to a white colour. And in the distance there is Wedge Island, just off the coast here, accessible on low tide across that uh, tidal causeway there. A lot of Chow Sedney along there. These aren't rocks, but these are interesting. They're the pandanus seeds. Probably fallen from a nearby pandanus tree. If we look around, there's the culprit. Pandanus occurs all up the east coast of Australia, various species. This species being pandanus tectorius. These pandanus seeds are real survivors. They have uh, multiple embryos in them, at least eight, possibly more. And you can store these seeds dry for many years and they'll still germinate.
just a little bit more on this causeway to Wedge Island. Over near the island are um, well-known fossil beds containing crocodile, turtle and um, fish spines. I've been out there more than a dozen times over the years and never found anything but other people have found stuff there. Now around this corner I'm hoping we've reached the where the tuff falls, the ash from the ash layer from the volcano and it looks like I'm here. Here's a closer look at the, um, the fallen ash rocks, particles. Track name is Tough. And it's fallen down the hillside from the ash layer, which you might be able to see on the video. You can just see it there. The ash is a soft rock, it's easily broken with a hammer and it contains a lot of particles of other stuff the ash is buried. Well I've been moving along the beach, uh, cracking open the ash rocks leaving pressions in it. Have no luck so far. You can see here where you would use the hammer to crack along this, this natural line. So I've had a bit of luck. I've found something to show you after splitting a dozen rocks. I've um, uncovered some leaves in pressions and even some of the black carbonaceous material left from the leaves. You can imagine this ash raining down thousands of tons, just burying everything. It's amazing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I had, and uh, I suppose now I've got to walk home that away. <laughs>